What is going on everybody? Russell here and today I'm going to give you guys the numbers. What this thing made on the dyno, um, what to expect from it and uh, what we're going to be doing here real soon. And I have an unboxing to do real quick so let me grab the box. All right, so I do have some new parts for the GTI, which I will get to that here in one second, but on to the S2000, and I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what it made on the dyno. So, uh, they had it over there for a couple days, you guys saw that, um, actually over the weekend. We took it on a Thursday, got it back yesterday, which was Tuesday, and uh, the car ended up putting down uh, 391 wheel horsepower on 15 pounds of boost with a very conservative tune. And the reason we're doing that is so that we can drive the car for the summer and just enjoy it, take it to different things. Uh, actually, tonight we're taking it over to uh, the drag strip and we're gonna see what it puts down, so watch for that video tomorrow. Like I said, super conservative, uh, not anything crazy with the timing, uh, 15 pounds. It could handle a lot more, but we don't wanna blow it up again. <laughs> and uh, we don't want to have it be down for another two months when the summer's only three months long here. So, with that being said, we were having an issue with our, uh, I think Ben said it was a TPS sensor, is uh, cutting out 8,300 RPM, which this car could rev easily, probably at about 9,500 RPM, uh, with the parts that are on the inside now, the Brian Crower, uh, everything that's been done, it's been sleeved, the uh, crankshaft has been uh, polished, balanced, all that cool stuff. So, that being said, if it wasn't cutting out at 8300, which we need to figure out if the, the sensor is bad, or if there's a bad ground, or if there's a wiring issue, what it is, uh, the guy at the tuning shop said that it'll make well over 400 wheel horsepower if we can get it up to about like 9,000 RPM, because uh, it's still making power. So this car only weighs about 2,800 pounds, and I believe the GTI is like 3,200, something like that. But we're gonna take it to the track tonight and see what it's putting down. My GTI was putting down uh, like 13.7 last time I was at the track. But the cool thing is right now in Western Pennsylvania on um, June 6th is it's only about 55 degrees out. So it's really cool, really cloudy, great temperatures. We're gonna have a great day at the track tonight. But with that being said, the guy also said if we wanna turn the stupid up, put in like a 20 pound spring. So the thing is right now it's a 15 pound spring but we're hitting anywhere up to 18 pounds. So we put the 20 pound spring in, we're gonna hit about 25 and so on and so forth. Um, which I'm pretty sure that's all the higher our waistcoat goes is 20 pounds. Uh, so, we're looking at a crank horsepower of probably about like, I don't know, 450 right now, maybe a little bit more, 465, which is pretty cool for this little motor that put out 240 uh, when it was brand new to the crank. So, uh, like I said, we're gonna have a good night at the track. Thank you guys for watching this whole series, everything, all the uh, positive comments, even the negative comments, love you guys. I'm gonna go over everything a couple times, just make sure everything's tight. Uh, you don't want to cause any issues at the drag strip and hold up the entire place, which would suck. So, uh, do that. Let me open up this ECS box. What's interesting though, this box, so this is my head for comparison, uh, I mean, it's a fairly large box. What this was supposed to be is a shift knob. So I'm hoping that it's not like a little tiny box inside here with a bunch of packing. Uh, we'll see though, let's, let's open it up and see. My other box from ECS tuning was smaller than this and it was not just a shift knob, so. I think that's what it is. All right, we got some more stuff in here. That's cool, that's cool. You know what, they probably saw my other video where I was like, oh, there's no stickers. Uh, so this is, oh man, this is sweet. I'm actually, I'm gonna probably put this on my car. Um, a really nice big banner that says ECS tuning. Uh, that'll probably go up on the windshield. Uh, that actually is pretty cool, it's red. Um, and then they gave me some smaller sticker decals that can probably go on the car, uh, a license plate things so yeah we'll, we'll, uh, we'll probably throw that in the car and then we have what's this so they gave me the shift knob and where did I just put those keys at right here um, it's like you can mix and match your colors so they have like different color actual knobs and then what's cool wow this is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger wow that's actually really nice um, this really sweet shift knob and then basically I went with uh, the red collar. So they asked me what kind of collar I wanted. And I got the red collar that's gonna go, it'll basically go in between there. And then you'll have this other part that was in here. It'll kind of hold it up. So I'm gonna do an install and review for that guys. And I still have the other part of the quick shift to do. And then I'm gonna do some driving videos cause you guys had asked for that also. But uh, pretty cool stuff from UCS tuning. Uh, 
If you guys want to go check out that shift knob that I just showed you, uh, I'll put a link for it in the description. Uh, go over there, check it out, pick something up. Thanks, uh, thanks to the guys at ECS Tuning. This stuff's going to be going on the GTI here real soon. Uh, I'm, I think I'm definitely going to put that banner on the front. I've been thinking about putting the banner on the front windshield. So put this stuff away for right now. And then we're going to be hitting the drag strip. So uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. I really appreciate it. Tomorrow, watch for the video of us hitting the strip. So, all right, guys. Thanks again. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for more content to come. Uh, I love putting out content for you guys. Things have been picking up. I've been putting out more videos. Uh, subs have been going up. Likes have been going up. Everything's been going up. So it's doing really well. I really appreciate everything you guys do out there. So uh, anyways, we'll see you next time. Peace.